once as kids grow up like the boundaries you know are pushed more but for the parents what advice can you give them like how could they sense that it's time for them to you know give them a wider boundaries okay i think it also comes with age so we believe like in age appropriateness at a certain you know naman how children are let's say like a one-year-old is going to be different from a five-year-old so also seeing how the personality of each child is so let's say not all five-year-olds are the same That's right. so if parents know what the child is able to do or what the child can handle how the child is some children you know na parang they have no fear Right. And we'll <laughs> jump right. off from that highest <laughs> point of the slide. So you know that for that child, you kind of need to give more guidance. Um, you need to be more present. Right. You need to put more parameters. But let's say some children, you know, are very careful. And then also understanding what can the child do at certain stages. And it's so easy to just Google like developmental milestones, like what children can do. Um, so let's say when babies, when you're feeding them, there's the baby led feeding where you don't mush the food. But if the child doesn't even have yet the fine motor skills to hold an actual broccoli, so you know, you have to mush it first. So they're knowing the developmental milestones and what a child can do at different stages, but also knowing the child as an individual. Okay, so my next question is, um, in today's digital age, screen time <laughs> is a concern for many parents. My concern as well. So what do you recommend uh, for those parents to manage the screen time and encourage healthy technology habits for their young children? One thing that the research has been consistently showing is that technology is not all bad. It just has to be used in the right way. So let's say, you know, before they used to say, below two, totally no screen time. But if this child is on a video call with a parent that is abroad, abroad or with a lola in another province, that's okay. The studies have shown that it actually even helps in their language development because it's a two-way interaction. So that's what's important is that they're talking to somebody and there's conversation, there's eye contact happening. Unlike if they're just watching a video or scrolling. Yeah, so then that's more passive. Another thing like for my older kids, what I do is certain time is no screen time. So let's say meal times is definitely no screen time, but it also means the adults have to have no screen time yeah, at that day. Yeah, so you know, it's just a short time that we everybody can converse. Um, so having certain areas of the home that is no screen. Mm -hmm. And then um, also balancing, you know, from like what I would do is tell my daughter, okay, we can listen to a podcast. Mm -hmm.